This is a teardown of the Fortinet FortiGate 80 CM firewall. Alrighty. That might be the wrong size. There we go. That notes. Interesting start. This screws like up weird in between Phillips 1 and, and 0. It almost feels like it wasn't making a good good bite. Alrighty. It's quite the beefy feeling unit. Some good weight to it at least. You'd make it a little bit better to set up here eventually, maybe. Well, there's the cover. Not much to see there. Just a bent piece of steel. And uh, this is interesting. This has a tiny little fan inside of it. I think that's the first time I've seen a fan in one of these smaller 48 units. And quite the heat sink. Looks like I'll need a number two Phillips for some of this. Actually, most of it. <laughs> That's interesting. Not sure what the point of this metal bracket was. Just a piece of support material, I guess. Looks like these heat sink screws are captive. Slowly but surely. Those are some really strong springs though. There we go. Well that's interesting. It almost looks like it might be a Intel processor. <laughs> yep, I guess correctly. I'm guessing that uh, this is a low power Xeon of some sort. I'm not sure what the part number is. None of those look like typical Intel part numbers. I may actually take the time to look that up and put the info in the description. Flip this around so I can see what I'm doing. It's a shame I don't have more time and ambition. It'd be interesting to see if I uh, put like Windows or Linux on this for the fun of it. Yeah. I'll get tools for that. Just in the meantime, we'll unhook this tiny little fan. Oh man. There we go. Huh. A little rubber shock mount to make it a little less annoying to listen to. It's kind of a nice touch. Volts DC, 0.12 amps. Teeny tiny. Probably add that to my collection, even though I'm sure it'll be super noisy. I'm not sure what this is. I don't think it's a wireless adapter, so it might be storage. Oh, alright. This is a modem. 
and that's just a filter there. That is in frame, right? Yep. <laughs> and I suppose you might want to see the part numbers. Yeah, that just uh, more than likely hooks straight up to that modem port, considering there's a uh, plug right next to it. And let's see about popping off these heat sinks. I don't think I'm going to bother with fully taking the PCB off the board in this video. Or off the chassis, I should say. There we go. And there we go. Take a quick look. Ah, I might pop it off. I'll have to grab different tools. All sorts of chips, plus a uh, Fort Forte ASIC CP. I think it might be CPO. It's hard to tell under the epoxy. So they have their own custom silicon in there. Some Nanya memory for the Intel CPU. And this is just power regulation. So I'm about to grab something and take these two standoffs off, and then we can look at the bottom of the PCB. Well, I might double check. There's one screw I haven't taken off yet, but I'm pretty sure these will go all the way through as well. Yep, I need tools. All right, well, they were stuck in there, so I just busted them off. <laughs> And yeah, so in the back, some more memory. Got a giant plate of aluminum with some thermal pads. Another piece of aluminum and thermal pad there as well. Using the steel frame of the unit for an additional uh, thermal load, I suppose. Oops. This isn't the best tool for prying stuff, but I'm lazy. Oh, that's interesting. Nothing, just a giant thermal pad there under this piece of aluminum. Really nice little square of aluminum there. Yeah, I'm assuming this is probably just... Yeah, I might have some adhesive there. So it's kind of stretchy, so not epoxy based. I'm going to guess that this is probably a controller chip for the network ports. But I'm also going to be lazy and not look it up. <laughs> so, yep, just some memory and then a bunch of passives under the CPU. I couldn't tell you how much RAM this had. I would be surprised if it had a gig of RAM though. It's probably DDR2 based on the shape of the chips and the age of this unit. I'm guessing this Samsung chip here must be the boot flash because this doesn't have a spot for a CF card. So hopefully that's interesting and uh, thanks for watching.